Hello. In this video, we're going to learn a great new operation called modulus. It's written out as a percentage sign. Modulus is a really useful mathematical operation when we're dealing with large numbers. Simply put, modulus gives us the remainder. So, um, let's, let's do some long division here. 15 divided by 3 can be written as 15 divided by 3. We know that 3 goes into 15 5 times, so 3 times 5 is 15, and we get a value of 0. So therefore, if I was to say 15 mod 3, my answer would be 0. Let's take this example, 16 divided by 3. 16 divided by 3 so 3 goes into 16 5 times, which gives me a value of 15, and we end up with a remainder of 1. So therefore, we know that 16 mod 3 is equal to 1. That's really all there is to modulus. It's giving us the remainder after we've performed the division operation. Two special cases we want to think about, and I want you to actually go and test these yourself, is what happens if you do 0 mod some number, so let's say 3, or what about the case where you do something like 3 mod 0? These are always the cases that cause students to, to pause. And so often, if I'm giving some sort of assessment, these are the types of questions students forget to consider before coming in. So let's dive into our program and do a little coding. So we have it right here. We have an integer called num, and it's equal to 15 mod 3. So if I run this, I get num as a value of 0. If I try 16 mod 3, and I run this, I get a value of 1. And again, our value is showing up down here in the console. If I make 17 mod 3, I get a value of 2. What about 18 mod 3? 18 mod 3 now gives me a value of 0 again, because 3 goes into 18 6 times with nothing left over. That's all there is to the modulus operation. And you can do some funky ones. So 145,645 mod 245. Let's see what happens. 115. That's how much is left over. That's the remainder. Now, we typically think of modulus with a larger number mod a smaller number. But sometimes we do want to think about the cases where I have something like 3 3 mod 5. So 3 mod 5 can cause a student to pause, but let's actually work that one out. So let's erase some of our work here. So 3 mod 5, to calculate that, we need to consider 3 divided by 5. So 3 divided by 5 would be written as 3 divided by 5. 5. We know that 5 goes into 3 0 times, so 0 times 5 is 0, and the result is 3. So therefore, 3 mod 5 is equal to 3. So if you're ever unsure, just take a second and write out the division. So if we come back into our program and execute this, there's our 3. So just to wrap up, remember, Two special cases you want to consider is 0 mod a number and a number mod 0. So let's take a look and see what happens. Let's start with 5 mod 0. That's like we'd want to consider 5 divided by 0. So if we have, and let's just do this here, 5 mod 0, we need to consider 5 divided by 0. And we know that's impossible. You can't divide by zero. Really important um, idea to, to kind of put in the back of your head for mathematics class. So if I actually go and execute this, I'm going to get an error. And it's essentially telling me I have a divide by zero error. So now, what about zero mod five? If I execute this, that's going to give me zero. Let's look at why that is. So if I consider 
0 mod 5. To, to solve this, I need to take 0 and divide it by 5. Well, 5 goes into 0 0 times, so 0 times 5 is 0, and the remainder is 0. So therefore, 0 mod 5 is simply 0. I hope that video helped you figure out the modulus operation. Good luck.